Hi. Let's talk about uh, LibreOffice 6.3 release notes. So let's take a quick look about them. So we have here table cell background color. Uh, for example, when we insert and write our table and we click this border color, table cell background. So this was corrected because before just the paragraph was uh, highlighted, not the uh, background. Let's go further. We have some other changes when uh, updating the table of contents. And we have here these updates about copying um, filter calc data. So before 6.2 was like that. After that we have all the data including inclusive mail which uh, doesn't have to be there and now in the new version we have just what we selected and it's very well uh, pasted in a uh, table. Another changes in 6.3 it's um, background filling the whole page, entire page. So let's see this. We go to format page and from here we go to area and the color we take this and apply and you can see we have the whole entire page is a fill with this color. So uh, if we change uh, margins uh, the uh, fill remains the same the, the whole page so it's very good like this the preview is not uh, updated but uh, it's okay like uh, we have now so Something is not wrong, uh, is wrong here because we could we should have like in preview, but anyway, it's what we wanted to have the whole page with the background. We can change from color to gradient, to any and so on. Let's go further. Another change is about uh, text, aligning text you can see in a table. Also importing charts from DocX drawing group and uh, you can see how was before, how is now. Also something about Microsoft Word forms. We have now this checkbox um, and with this you, you have some control about uh, what is showing. Also when opening and saving LibreOffice documents it, uh, you can see how much better it's opening. Before was 5 seconds and now it's under 1 second so 97% improvement. It's very good. Also for calc we have some improvements here. Russian symbol also the new drop down let's see this so when we have some uh, numbers here let's insert some number so when we click here we have just some some of that number but now we have average mean max and uh, count so it's a change that could be very useful for you to have on your hand all these uh, formulas. Another thing is, it's when we want to s make some search in the uh, in LibreOffice Calc. Let's search here for 34. We have here 34. Let's search for it, and we go to find. We have these search results, 
uh, we want to see a list we have this option to show this dialog or not to show if we uncheck this we have to go to tools options calc and view to enable it again so let's search again we don't have this uh, window and in order to uh, have this again we have to go to LibreOffice calc view and we have here summary on research apply ok and now if I'm control H and we have this option again I can disable enable and what I want with it let's go further we have here uh, a new checkbox in data statistics moving average um, very useful for who is using this statistics formula in calc also uh, statistics sampling dialog was changed in the left is how it was before and on the right there are two op new options that were inserted uh, here you can see them also a new spreadsheet function for your function you can see more details here about it also performance on opening on saving spreadsheets have increased from one 11 seconds to uh, under three to one seconds and also also more improvements here uh, a window a tip of the day window when opening LibreOffice and you click next tip next tip and read more and you can uncheck this also you get a notification about 6.3 version and you can read these release notes also you we have new feature like reduction tool let's uh, test this I talk about it in a previous um, video but let's try it again so let's uh, insert here uh, a number and uh, this is a secret number I don't want to appear in a document I want to send this document to be seen but not a number it's a secret it's a secret number so in order to use this we go to form uh, tools redact and it's opening in LibreOffice draw from here we have this toolbar and from here we take this shape and we export to white or to black let's export to black and the place of exporting is here and let's see what I have imported So this is a document you can see the document is not uh, the number is not uh, visible and everything on the page is very blurred so this is the function let's um, test something else let's go in LibreOffice draw you here we can have a, a CV or something and we want to use this to hide some information as you can see below let's um, use it again reduct and this toolbar can be moved to be here and for example I can use a free form something like this but if I want to cover the number let's erase this and insert again cover the number and I can move as I want let's export now to white okay so now we have covering with white and everything is blurred and the document is okay I can share with anyone with anyone also LibreOffice help 
have been changed filters and uh, also was added support for PDF A2 form let's see this so we can change from PDF A1 or A2 from uh, exporting let's see these uh, changes here we go to file export as export as PDF and we have here PDF uh, PDF A2 and A1 B so we have this option here in order to use it is a change that uh, deserves to be mentioned in uh, release notes so let's go further the change in LibreOffice uh, is in, in user interface and I talk about this in the previous video I will uh, let here the link to the previous video in description please uh, see there and also uh, the icon cipher icon have be, and has been changed I will uh, let you again another video I talk about this Krasa Yaga, Yaga uh, was changed, was improved and also the um, installer have been increased in size like you see here uh, the sidebar have this bullet, bullet style improved also the sheet um, tabs has been enlarged and look beautiful now um, the formula have improved and so on so I hope you like these changes, please watch the other video in the description and thanks for watching and please subscribe for more, thank you.